Hi everyone, I'm Niusha and welcome to your channel Hesia Suite. Today I'm going to teach you these beautiful popsicles. If you want to see my videos, please subscribe my channel and click the bell to get notification when I upload new videos. Let's get started. I have some cake and I put the link of the recipe in the description. I crumble my cake and then after that I add 3 tablespoons of whipped cream. Mix them together to clump up like a cookie dough and not to be loose. Now I start to form balls with my cake pops mixture and I use 20 grams for each bowl. Here I want to insert the pop stick. I should dip the stick in the chocolate that I melt. And before inserting it, I twist the stick while inserting it. Remember, because that's an important point. Now I have some red and pink chocolate. Here I'm dipping the cake pops in the melted chocolate and top of the excess chocolate and put them in the block of styrofoam. Now I want to say an important point for you. Don't put the cake pops in the fridge if you don't want to have a cracked cake pops. You should sit them on the table for about an hour before you go dipping them in the chocolate. So when you touch your cake pops, they shouldn't be cold. In this way, you're never gonna have any crack on them. I know that is a big problem for you. If my cake pops are so cold, when I'm dipping in the chocolate, as I'm trying to tap up the excess chocolate, I can't, because the chocolate really is stuck onto the cake pops. And that is why it gives you lumpy and pumpy shape, because it didn't have enough time for you to shake off the chocolate. And all because of the sudden change of temperature from hot to cold that causes the crack. For making popsicles, I use the melted chocolate and use silicone mold. And as you see, when I turn the mold around, it makes the chocolate easier to spread. Now I'm using a small brush to cover the edges of the mold and then insert the wooden stick. Now I place silicone molds in the freezer for the chocolate totally set and harden it before we continue. After that, I cover the edges of the mold with the chocolate with a small brush and be careful if you see any spots that are not nicely covered. You wanna have enough chocolate, of course, but not too much. And then you can place it in the freezer for two minutes before you're gonna start filling it. Make sure to get the cake all around the wooden stick and completely press it. It's time to insert the wooden stick all the way to the middle until the mold stops. Now I'm going to cover them with the chocolate. Add thin layer just enough to cover the whole bag. And after that place the mold into the freezer for about 10 minutes. So it's totally set and harden. Now you can easily take them off. But be careful, gently pull out the wooden stick. You see that they are so shiny. Finally, for the garnishing, you can do whatever you want. You can use any colors and you can use fondant. 
I'm decorating with some white chocolate and pipe it over the popsicles. And after that, I add some sprinkles. To decorate the cake pops, I use white chocolate, I pipe it. And to decorate the rest of them, I use some edible food color. Dear friends, if you're enjoying this video and learning something new, let me know by hitting the like button now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell to get all the notifications, and see you soon in a new video. Happy baking!